For those of you who say, look at this guy trying to fear monger about illegal immigration after he already came here himself. Um, listen, first of all, I did come to the land of milk and honey. Legally, I did. It took uh, about seven years to come here legally. Then I did, and I served this beautiful nation uh, in the United States Marine Corps. But more importantly, let me share this with you. These videos are to make the beautiful American people aware of what's coming. I've lived in this country. I've lived in those countries. I've owned businesses in those countries. I've been in the music industry in those countries. I've dealt in clubs in those countries. I've dealt with businessmen in those countries. Um, I've done missionary work in those countries. So I've lived and I know enough of what's coming. So I speak from a position of experience. And these videos are not for me to fear monger and they're not for me to trash anybody. Illegal immigration is illegal immigration. I don't care what country it is at, but we, America so happens to be the dumbest one in when it comes to illegal immigration because it's very easy for people like those who comment in these videos about fear mongering, about calling me a white supremacist, calling me, I mean, white supremacist, my, come on. But anyways, but I digress. I make these videos specifically for you, beautiful people. Good American people. The people that opened their arms for my parents to come to this nation, then for me and my brothers to come to this nation. And I try giving back to it, not only through serving in the military, but also opening businesses, creating employment for uh, people, paying my taxes. This video is not uh, to fear monger. These videos is to make you aware of what's coming to destroy the land of milk and honey. I'm not afraid of not living in a land of milk and honey for myself. I've already done that. I know how to live in the land of lemon and vinegar. I've lived there. I grew up in that land. But do I fear for my children to not have the life that I've lived for the past few years in this beautiful land? Yes, I do. Do I fear for you to not be ready? for what's coming because most of you are good hearted and try to see the best in people. Yes, I worry about you because you're very naive. The American people is very naive when it comes to these things. You get sold this bill of goods when it comes to guilt. So easily guilt tripped. The Venezuelan gangs are horrible gangs. The Haitian gangs that are coming next, by the way, it's only because the Haitian airport is closed that they're coming to Florida via those uh, rigs, those boats. But soon when they open the uh, airport in Haiti, what do you think is going to happen? Biden is going to fly them all in. And I say Biden. is the Biden administration. That corpse does not run anything. But as long as we stay together, we're good. The problem is that too many liberals are just not that smart. You guys are just sold in these guilt trips and you're opening your home, and by your home I mean America, to people that do not appreciate it, do not value your way of life. And the saddest part is, those of you who encourage it are the weakest ones in this country. You're not going to know what to do when a, when a Venezuelan gang comes knocking on your door wanting to come in. And uh, they look all scary with, with tattoos around their neck. Not like me, military tattoos are not in their neck. Right here by the Adam's apple. When you see them and they come yelling at your wife or yelling at your husband, which is also just the wife. When they come strong, rushing your door, what are you going to do? You're a bunch of cowards. You don't know anything better. And by the way, obviously not all, not all, not all. I'm not trying to wrap this pig in just one blanket. But most of you liberals, most of you Democrats, don't know what's coming to your door. And for those of you who, again, that say that I came to the land of milk and honey and I don't want nobody else to come to it, you're wrong. Legal immigration, I support it all day long. I'm a legal immigrant myself. Come here, but you know the thing is about legal immigrants, they are afraid for this country to become where they came from. We know better, so we try to build businesses, we try to work, 
we try to assimilate to your culture because we want to do that. We want to become that. Those of you who hate assimilation, those of you who hate American culture, those of you that hate this way of life, very easy. And coming from an immigrant, I'll tell you, leave. Leave. I'll tell you this. If I didn't love it here, I would leave. I have a good life. I'll make a living anywhere I go. Anywhere in the world I go, I'll make a living. I'm not worried about me. You know, I'll make it happen for my family. It'll be harder somewhere else, but I'll make it happen. You, though, I doubt. You don't know any better. You know why I know I'll make it happen? Because I've lived both. I know how it works to have it. I know how it works to not have it. I know how it looks to have it. I know how it looks to not have it. I know what it is to wake up with no electricity, not knowing where your next dollar bill is coming from and trying to go get it. And I know what it is to know exactly where your next dollar is coming from. I'm a day trader. What a beautiful life. I wake up in the morning. I play the markets. I play crypto. I play Forex. I play the stock market. Beautiful. I wake up. I have coffee with my wife. On the weekends, I have drinks if I want. My electricity is never going to shut down. I have nice cars. Uh, I have a nice home. You know, boats. I mean, what a great life I have. And all of you have the same ability to do so. I wake up to this life every day. Why would I not try to defend it? Not only as I did in the Marine Corps. That's a different kind of defense front but from within from seeing it taken from you american people and you're doing so little about it so heartbreaking you don't see what's coming i do i make these videos to make you aware i will continue to do so if you find value in them please consider sharing hitting the like button subscribe I'm going to try to continue to inform as much as you can, but I do this not just for you, beautiful American people, but I do it for my children. I do it for my children. My children have never had to live anything other than this. My grandchildren, I'm hoping, that never have to live anything other than this. I have a daughter in nursing school, which is now married to a son-in-law, which is in engineering school, uh, electrical engineering. I have a son that... Um, is a college graduate and another son that's about to graduate from college. I have one married son, one married daughter. All beautiful families, but they don't know. They haven't lived any different. They haven't. They haven't seen the things I've seen. And if it was up to me and I can help it, I'd rather them not. They've been trained properly. They've been trained in weapon systems and they've been trained in self-defense. And, you know, they're wiser than most. But there is more of them than there is of mine, unfortunately, of those who don't know what the hell is coming next. And it's scary. So I'm going to continue to make these videos to make you aware. I have a series of videos coming up explaining the Venezuelan gangs, the Haitian gangs, the MS-13 gangs. I'm deep diving into those gangs and I want to give you the history of where they come from. I'm going to try to help you spot them uh, just to make you aware of what the hell is happening in your land, in your country. Because I worry that more Lake and Rileys are coming by. And I worry that you're just not prepared. You're just not ready. I'm afraid that you mistaken your good heart for true weakness. You know how they say, do not mistake my good intentions, my good heart my soft spots for weakness, mm, you have them. You have them and um, you better toughen up. Of course, I speak to those of you who continue to make those crazy comments that now that I came to the land of milk and honey, I want nobody else to come to it. Completely wrong. But I want to protect it. I do not want this land to become the land of salt and vinegar or lemon and vinegar. You wouldn't be able to handle it, most of you. But, you know, you see the news and 
Trump bad, Trump racist. I love the uh, the new one. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but Trump just got voted the worst president that ever lived. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is not about Trump. To be honest with you, it's not even about the government. You know what it's about? It's about, just like in Haiti, you had the Haitian people, okay, being taken over by an illiterate, dumb individual called Barbecue. That's not a government problem. That's because the people, they are stupid. When you have a country like this, governed by an administration, ran by a senile corpse, it's not a mystery to anybody that the guy is not only completely corrupt, completely stupid. When you have people like that running a country, it's not a government issue. You that continue to support this crap. It's your fault. It's not the government. I don't blame the government. I blame you. There is more of us than there is of them. With that, I leave you. Uh, please consider, again, uh, sharing, liking, subscribing, so the algorithm somehow favors me. Thank you very much for those of you who have followed me. We finally hit a 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate it. Uh, but I'm not going to stop. Again, if you like and see any value in these videos, perspective from a legal migrant who came here, served in the U.S. military, but not only lived in those other countries that I speak about, I've done business in most of those countries that I speak about. And um, I dealt with the people and hired many of the people of which I speak about. So I know what I'm talking about. You don't. Anyways, God bless.